I read in the papers all week, we all read in the papers, that in the black community, mothers are worried about their children getting home from school without being killed by a cop. What world are we living in? That doesn't happen. It does not happen. But I read in the papers all week, we all read in the papers, that in the black community, mothers are worried about their children getting home from school without being killed by a cop. What world are we living in? That doesn't happen. It does not happen. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike O'Meara. I'm the president of the New York State Association of PBAs. And I just want to talk to, to, to you, the press, and I want to talk to the police officers. 375 million interactions with the public every year. 375 million interactions. Overwhelmingly positive responses. Overwhelmingly positive responses. But I read in the papers all week, we all read in the papers, that in the black community, mothers are worried about their children getting home from school without being killed by a cop. What world are we living in? That doesn't happen. It does not happen. I am not Derek Siobhan. They are not him. Both of us and the heartbreak and the grief is inexplainable because it's very, very hard to articulate when your entire world has been turned upside down. I do want to know, though, when I think about all of this, is that my brother wore a uniform, and he wore that uniform proudly. I'm wondering, where is the, where is the outrage for a fallen officer that also happens to be African-American. He killed someone. We didn't. We are restrained. And you know what? I'm saying this to all the cops here. Because you know what? Everybody's trying to shame us. The legislators. The press. Everybody's trying to shame us into being embarrassed about our profession. But you know what? This isn't stained by someone in Minneapolis. It's still got a shine on it. And so do theirs. So do theirs. Stop treating us like animals and thugs. And start treating us with some respect. That's what we're here today to say. We've been left out of the conversation. We've been vilified. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Trying to make us embarrassed of our profession. 375 million interactions, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive. Nobody talks about all the police officers that were killed in the last week in the United States of America, and there were a number of them. We don't condone Minneapolis. We roundly reject what he did as disgusting. It's disgusting. It's not what we do. It's not what police officers do. Our legislators abandoned us. The press is vilifying us. Well, you know what, guys? I'm proud to be a cop. And I'm going to continue to be proud to be a cop until the day I retire. And that's all I have to say.